Hello, and thank you for watching this regional forecast for the Canadian Prairie. I'm Andrew Pritchard, meteorologist with Nutrient Ag Solutions. We're watching a big area of cold air spill into the northern plains from the U.S., courtesy of the Canadian Prairie, as you guys sit in some very cold air heading through the weekend and then into early next week. We will see temperatures moderate some as we get into the mid to later part of the week, but that does look rather temporary as cooler temperatures hold on overall over the next 10 days. The precipitation forecast over the next week, much of it falling right now over southern and central Manitoba. That, of course, with a storm system moving out of northern Minnesota into Manitoba and on Ontario as we head through the next couple of days, really stalling out, dumping some heavy snow on southern Manitoba. We'll have another system work its way out of the Rockies here and bring some light precipitation, perhaps some light snow to scattered areas of Alberta and Saskatchewan as we head into uh, next week. But again, this storm system over southern Manitoba really uh, hogging the attention as far as precipitation goes over the next week. Waking up now on Friday morning, again, here is that counterclockwise swirl, that area of low pressure again over uh, uh, Manitoba and Minnesota, my two M's here, getting tripped over the two of them. High pressure on the backside, actually a pretty pleasant morning as we wake up across parts of, uh, of the prairie here in Alberta and Saskatchewan. Maybe some light snow falling in far, far southeastern Saskatchewan, but overall a pretty pleasant day behind this storm system. So we look at the radar again, the only precipitation falling going to be found here in the form of some heavy snow across parts of southern Manitoba. That does include Winnipeg moving over toward Brandon. In fact, the heaviest snow likely to end up falling right here between Brandon, Brandon and Winnipeg. And that would be snow totals here on the 40 to 60 centimeter range with those strong winds coming in on the backside. Not much in the way of uh, real-time reports here from our Cocoa Raz observers. Uh, we do have a couple amounts here between 15 to 23 centimeters in southern Manitoba here. Uh, another one of one centimeter just on the uh, a little bit east of uh, uh, Winnipeg. And then some values that we can see down here. 36 inches measured at Matlock. Uh, 27.2, that was centimeters, I apologize, 27.2 down to 13 uh, centimeters here. So a wide, a wide range in the Winnipeg area here as we transition from uh, little snow on the east side to very heavy snow west of Winnipeg with this storm system. Snow cover on the ground right now. We did get some snow across portions of southern Saskatchewan into southwestern Manitoba last night. The, the high spots here, 8 to 10 centimeters in this region here. Again, southern Saskatchewan to southwestern uh, Manitoba. The heavy snow from this storm, we're going to be beginning to stack up some accumulations in this area and then to a lesser extent off into parts of uh, northeastern Manitoba along the Manitoba and Ontario border northward, looking at about 15 centimeters in that range. Winter storm warnings in effect across southern Manitoba. Again, that for the combination here of the heavy snow and very strong winds on the backside of this storm system. Now we'll look at the high resolution NAM model because it offers this high resolution look, even though it only cuts off uh, or cuts off the northern half here of Alberta into Manitoba. Uh, but we can focus in on this range because that is what we care about the most as we head through Friday into Saturday and now into Sunday. That area of low pressure really stalling over northern Minnesota and continuing to spin away, keeping snow in the area over the next 36 to 48 hours. Let's take this once again into Friday afternoon. Friday at sunset now, dinner time, bedtime on Friday, seeing heavy snow continuing. Uh, probably peaking in intensity across southern Manitoba as we go through the overnight and then wake up on Saturday morning. This would be about sun, uh, sunrise on Saturday morning. Area of low pressure still situated right here over the Manitoba, Minnesota, Ontario border right there. Strong northerly winds blowing, snow still falling as we wake up on Saturday morning. Continuing to lunchtime on Saturday, still seeing snow falling across the region. This extends all the way into the northern U.S., Heading into Saturday afternoon and now dinner time on Saturday, still seeing at least light patchy snow flurries coming down. Those northerly winds beginning to lessen some as the area of low pressure begins to weaken. Overnight Saturday into early Sunday morning now, still likely seeing at least isolated snow flurries well into the afternoon on Sunday. Not likely picking up a lot of additional accumulation by the time we get to Sunday, but still seeing that wintry weather, still likely seeing cloud cover and at least some uh, scattered flurries falling during the day on Sunday. Now the winds are gonna to continue to be a problem. Peaking on Saturday, we'll go ahead and we'll take this back to the beginning of the loop. Let it play here for a moment. Get the scroller to come back to the beginning if it will allow me to do so. Uh, let's see, Let me give it a moment. There it is, all right, waste so much time there. Uh, heading through the day Friday, getting into Friday night, seeing those winds really begin to ramp up, seeing gusts anywhere to, from 60 to 80 kilometers per hour. 
perhaps a gust to 100 kilometers per hour, especially in the high elevation areas here, getting into the Riding Mountains. Those winds continue to be blustery as we head through the day on Saturday, tapering off Saturday into Sunday morning, but still certainly possible we could see a couple of wind gusts here anywhere from 15 to 30 kilometers per hour during the day on Sunday, creating some blowing snow issues. Now we'll watch this storm system begin to wind down after it stalls out across the region here with the long range GFS model. Watching this go through Saturday morning now, Saturday afternoon, spinning away now into Sunday and then ending. We turn our attention off to the west as we watch some light snow, perhaps some light showers move out of the Rockies. Overnight Sunday into Friday, or <laughs> overnight Sunday into Monday is how that works. Uh, perhaps some light snow accumulations, generally less than 15 centimeters, starting across Alberta on Sunday night, Monday morning, getting into parts of Saskatchewan on Monday and Tuesday. Watch another quick moving system kind of do the same thing, moving through Wednesday and Thursday. So a couple opportunities as we look at this region uh, for about 15 centimeters of snow in an isolated and scattered fashion from a couple of storm systems here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. We can see this here looking at the precipitable water, watching a lot of drier air coming, uh, coming in on the back side of this storm system, a lot of moisture feeding in from the Gulf of Mexico up and into that area of low pressure, and that is what continues to supply the deep moisture for this storm system, and that combined with the storm stalling out is what dumps the heavy snow on southern Manitoba. So we can watch this thing just stall and wind out, eventually kind of running out of moisture. Uh, and that's when we watch the next storm system try to move out here Monday and Tuesday, watching some moisture come in from the Pacific. Uh, we see very light. Again, this is why we're talking about scattered showers, maybe some light snow accumulating. Uh, we see a similar push here as we get into the middle part of the week. Perhaps a larger storm system making its way into the region as we get into next weekend. We'll talk more about that a bit later, but it does look like generally quiet conditions, especially across southern Alberta into southern Saskatchewan. Now the very cold air that's sinking into the northern plains, that's going to sit over the area for a few days, keeping cooler temperatures in place over the Canadian prairie as we head into the next week, possibly beginning to moderate here as we get into uh, here's some, some colder air sticking around. We're into Tuesday, Wednesday. Now we're starting to see perhaps some warmer temperatures move into the region in advance of that next potential storm system as we get to next weekend. So cooler temperatures for the most part, maybe getting closer to where we should be as we head into the middle part of next week. Taking a close look at Alberta, total, uh, a total uh, pre precipitation as we head through the next five days, taking this all the way into Tuesday night watching for perhaps light scattered precipitation again by the time we get to let's play this out and let it pause at the end of the loop uh, by the time we get to tuesday night again this is going to be scattered in nature could shift north or south just a bit but even in the heaviest corridor here we're talking about 10 millimeters or so not talking significant precipitation likely that that falls in the form of some light snow but again talking about very light amounts just a couple of centimeters perhaps three to five centimeters at the very most as we head through the next week, likely less than that for just about everybody. High temperatures in Alberta in the upper single digits for the day today, dropping below zero tonight, lows uh, right around negative five across much of the prairie. High temperatures on Saturday, right around 10 degrees, give or take a couple of degrees, and then dropping below zero for much of the prairie again. Saturday night into Sunday, your Sunday high temperatures once again below average, right around 10 degrees. Looking at Saskatchewan and Manitoba as we take this out, of course, the big winner or loser, depending on how you look at it here, is going to be southern Manitoba, looking at about 40 to 60 millimeters of precipitation uh, as we head through the rest of the storm system Friday, Saturday into early Sunday. Of course, talking about some heavy snow from that as well. The heaviest snow likely stacking up right between Winnipeg and Brandon in this corridor right in here. We'll kind of call it uh, something like this. Whoop. Go ahead and shift that over something like this likely where we see the heaviest snow with a sharp cutoff on this line here on the east where we could go from very significant snowfall 30 centimeters or more to very little once you head over into far southeastern uh, manitoba and winnipeg right on that line i do expect some significant accumulations in winnipeg but as you head east out of winnipeg it's going to be a very quick transition to uh, very little snow to no snow as you head towards the ontario border Again, in far southern uh, Manitoba here, talking about the, the heaviest corridor, perhaps stacking up anywhere from 40 to 60 centimeters, perhaps locally higher there, but that I expect to be kind of the, the, t the top uh, threshold here is about 40 to 60 centimeters, trailing off to about 15 to 30 as you head over towards the Saskatchewan and Manitoba border, and then very little additional snow are going to be accumulating here across south uh, uh, eastern 
Saskatchewan. High temperatures for the day on Friday in the low single digits in Saskatchewan, near zero across southern Manitoba. Overnight lows dropping below zero, actually a little bit warmer where the storm is ongoing. Treacherous conditions, but those winds, the clouds, and the snow falling going to keep temperatures steady right around zero. One or two degrees tomorrow for the high. Your overnight low Saturday night into Sunday, negative five as you head into southern Saskatchewan. Again, a little bit warmer with the cloud cover hanging on across southern Manitoba right around zero degrees. Finishing out the weekend, a high temperature of about two in southern Manitoba, a little bit warmer where we don't have the snow on the ground. That would be across uh, portions of southern and western Saskatchewan. High temperatures anywhere from six to ten degrees. As always, Eric Snodgrass will have an in-depth evolution look at the evolution of the next one to two weeks in our Monday morning Ag Forecast video, and I will be back with your next check of the Canadian Prairie Monday morning as well. Have a great weekend. Uh, stay warm, especially if you're in uh, southern Manitoba. Maybe stay safe if you're over there. Go ahead and send us any comments. Uh, to leave those in the video here or you know, send me some photos at andrew.pritchard at nutrient.com. I'm also on Twitter as at Skydrama, S-K-Y-D-R-A-M-A. I would love to see what you end up with. Have a great day.